Hi, I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me, and we're at the Stadium of Light, the home of Sunderland. The game today features Sunderland against Watford. Sunderland! Today, number 21, Adam Matthew. Number 36, Mark Wilson. Number 3, Brian Obiang. Number 26, Jermaine Mum. Number 4, Paddy McNair. Well, he could be the star turn in this game. Well, he's one of the best finishers around, without question. You look at his goal ratio down the years, and impressive to say the least. This is the Sunderland team for you today. Mark Wilson replaces Papi Misson Gilibodji, who's looked vulnerable recently. Jeremiah Long starts a player struggling for four. And a partnership with these two strikers up front. Here's Watford, and this is how they're going to line up. Luke Shaw starts with Koke as the fullbacks, and they'll play with a sole striker. Watford, well, their last game, they won at home against Bournemouth. Yeah, 3-0, comfortable for them, and uh, they're flying at the moment. I think they'll win again. Graham Scott is the match referee today. So the first touch, and the ball is in play, off we go. There's good progress with this attack. He's had a go here, and the goalkeeper got across to it. Corner given. In goes the corner, and they get it away. Vaughan. Now Paddy McNair. Corona. On the attack here. They need to try and get the ball back now. Vaughan. It's a super pass, he could be in behind. Cleverly. Return pass. Here's Brown. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Space for the shot right from the kickoff. They look like scoring, they have now. Sharp from the off, and what a good goal! He followed his instincts, he followed the play in, and then he followed watching the ball into the net. Yeah, a lesson for any schoolboy just to make sure you follow shots in, that you're in that danger area. So Sunderland have the lead. Here's Brown. 
cleverly. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And now a throw in. Koke. Now Brown. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Nice return pass. Shreds it through. Saw the goal and went for it. Well, there's the equaliser. And a really good start to the game. It's always thrilling when both teams show that they can score in a match. I wonder where we'll go from here. You never thought he was going to miss, Alan. No, you didn't. I mean, he's a cool head and he's one that he never likes to smash the ball. He loves to just stroke it home and he did it yet again. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. Well, you can't blame him. The manager is delighted with the character his team has shown to get back into this game. So, away we go at one all. Mark Wilson. Return pass. Adam Matthews. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Trying to get the cross in. Well blocked by the defender. Lee Catamar. Now he's looking for support. Here's a chance. Oviedo. He spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. It's a pass and, and shoots. A real miscue here. Here's Shaw. Come cleverly. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Real opening now. Magnificent from the goalkeeper. Well, it's all about positioning and spreading his body. Top class keeping. Stand down for that. Stand down for that. In goes the corner. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. It's looking good, this move. And now he's looking for some support. Tom Cleverly. Here's an opportunity, maybe. And here's the shot off the post. So we'll restart with a throw-in. Here's Brown. Corona. Shots on here. They scored. And they've gone into the lead. And undoubtedly deserved. They have been by far the superior side. And they really imposed their will on the opposition. Too good, really, for the defending. And the shot in the end far too good for the goalkeeper.
Sunderland have got to take this on the chin and try and move forward. They trail. They've cut the pass out there, and maybe that will ease the pressure. On to the attack now. Here's McGeady. Lee Cantermont. Comes to get it to feet. He's come rather deep to do that, the main striker. Throw in here. Brian Oviedo. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Nice return pass on the attack here. Oh, I love to see it. Surely it's a goal, and that's the third, the hat trick. It's a day he'll never forget. Well, a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this. It's a special day. It certainly is for a special player too. A player that uh, is the clinical sort and he's shown us that today. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now for Scorla. It's on the move all the time and makes That's lots of these interceptions. Be a minimum of four well, minutes. It's not over yet because we've got four more minutes of added time to come. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Cleverly spotted that well and intercepted. Turnover there that we didn't expect. Half time whistle has gone and it's 3 1 here. A brilliant first half from this fella. Everything that fell his way, he took and uh, he'll be after more. What a hat trick! Here we go with the start of the second half. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Corona. In a great position to pull it back. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. Vaughan. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Paletta. Corona. Cleverly. Could be dangerous. Promising build up until that challenge. Vaughan. Now Paddy McNair. Corona. Cleverly. Little piece of interplay between the two. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Proper tackle that. Now Brown. Cleverly. 
Here's Brown. Advantage played. We love to see it. Here's the chance. He looked to be maybe too precise, Alan. Yeah, I think so. Instead of just getting some power behind it, tried to be a bit too clever from close in. Did it. Oh, they gave it straight to him, didn't they? Into the attacking third. And here's the shot. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Vaughan. And now he's looking for some support. Turn pass. Lee Catamar. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Now Brown. Pereira. Pereira. Here's Brown. It's a good cross. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Well, it's still just speculation, Alan, isn't it? But what a big money deal it would be if it went through. Wouldn't it just? I mean, the rumours have been swirling for quite some time. Let's wait and see if there's any substance to them. Here's McGeady. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. He's not going to recover, I'm afraid, Alan. There's going to be a substitution here. No, no way that he is going to be able to carry on, and that's a, that's a blow for the team because he's an important player for them. Here's Brown. Pereira. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. They could pose some danger now. And now the shot! The defenders back. Free kick given. And there's a real uh, discussion now about how to make the most of it. It's a great shot, and the goalkeeper had no answer. Well, that is delightfully taken. Well, as soon as they won that free kick, you could see what was on the horizon. What a take. And he saw it all the way. The goalkeeper didn't. Substitution for what well, he's got options on the bench, pitch. of course. Number three, Colker. Coming onto the pitch, number five. I have to say, it's so one sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Getting forward well as a team now. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Oviedo. So not much time left at all. What does this mean, Alan, for their next game? Well, Sunderland go up against Hull City in the next one. And they'll certainly need to do better because they've been so poor out here. 
Well, this is where substitutes are important. Who and when. Kone. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Being closed down. Etienne Capu. Now Brown. Sebastian Prudel. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. It's not often you get at this level a game as one-sided as this. It's great for the team with all the goals, but the others just waiting for the final whistle. It's uh, damage limitation in these closing minutes. Brian Oviedo. Lee Catamar. Oh, he's won it back. That's a really good tackle. Now Brown. Corona. Came in with the challenge. Catamol. And we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Three minutes. Lee Catamol. Tackled well. Sebastian Prudel. Etienne Capu. Well, the leading side here are leading on the scoreline and in It's all over. And there is the final whistle. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref, a hat trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. As a match, it was rather one sided, wasn't it? Because of the capacity of one team to dominate the football. Well, it was a football lesson, it was pretty humiliating for the inferior team, they just didn't get into it. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Real opening now. Corona. Shots on here. On the attack here. I love to see that. Surely. Shot! 